Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you part two of turning the baby doll into a werewolf pup. Um, so I let that clay and latex dry overnight. I put two layers of latex over the top of the clay to keep it in place. And as you can see, it is stuck quite firmly on the doll. The only problem, parts I had problems with was the claws, which I had to glue back on. But apart from that, it was fine. The face stayed in place. And then what I did is put a base coat of brown all over the doll's head. I'm not worrying too much because I know most of this will be covered in fur. But I just wanted to make sure that if there were any gaps in the fur, you're not going to see bright pink baby doll skin. Then what I did is once that layer of brown had dried, I dry brushed a slightly lighter brown over the top. And then just use my paintbrush to apply some lighter bits like around the um, mouth and nose and that brow area. And as you can see, I'm just using a dabbing motion just to blend that in a little bit because it was a bit too um, obvious. The, the, the light areas, they needed blending in a bit more. And then I added a bit more of the lighter brown to the chin and sort of muzzle area just to make that stand out a little bit more and as you as you can see as I go on um, I do use a bit of a mixture of the sort of light fleshy tone and a bit more of the um, burnt sienna and blend it together just to make sure that those colours blend together a bit better so basically I'm just adding this lighter sort of fleshy browny colour to any raised areas that I want to stand out a little bit more and I've painted the eyes yellow as you can see and painted the nose black and these are just like the sort of base layers and as you can see I messed up the dry brushing on that little bit so I got a bit more black on my brush and just dabbed it and blended that in just to add a bit of a highlight to that area then around where the face is I use some brush strokes just to create um, some a sort of fur effect kind of thing um, this was my first idea was whether I would paint the fur on or, or not then I decided no it didn't look right so if you decide that you're not going to use any fur or anything you're just going to paint it on basically what you do is just do little flicking brush strokes in varying shades of brown and black like this to create a fur effect and you could do the whole thing like this and create the fur that way um, and if you do want to do that then just carry on doing that how I'm doing it just little flick strokes with some dark browns and some light brown and a bit of black and blend it together a little bit I just added this in case I missed anything with the fur just to sort of disguise any gaps or anything and like I said originally I was going to paint the fur but then I changed my mind um, again the same sort of little flick strokes on the feet and everything as well and then I got some black uh, oh no first of all I was going to do the nails like a grey colour and then I decided that didn't look right so then I did the claws black as you can see and this was where I discovered that one of the claw claws was loose and knocked it off at one point um, but I just glued it back on it wasn't too much of a problem as you can see the nails on the hand were originally yellow and then I changed my mind and decided to do all of them black that was me just adjusting a nail that was almost hanging off so there's the little claws and everything and you can if you wanted to just paint the rest of the fur on and have it looking like this if you wanted to um, but in the next video I will show you me applying the fur to the doll so this is the second part two which is just the applying the paint Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.